Hello friends, this video on probability part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Let's take one more example. Given that two numbers appearing on throw of two dice are different. Find the probability of event where sum of the number in the die is 4. Correct. So it is given that the numbers appearing are different. So numbers, the total number of uh, options in this case will be 6 into 6, that is 36, right? 6 here, 6 here, 36. Out of 36, we know that there are 6 where the numbers will be same. It is 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, right? So if you remove this minus 6, you get 30. So 30 different combinations we have for which numbers are different. Correct. Thus if you see, if I have a set called different set, this guy will have elements such as 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. It won't have 1, 1. Similarly with 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, it won't have 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, it won't have, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, it won't have, 4, 5, 4, 6, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 5, it won't have, 5, 6, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5. This is the set I get. And the second is sum is 4, sum 4 will have elements such as 1, 3 will give you 4, right, 2, 2 will give 4 and 3, 1 will give you 4, only 4, 3 possible options. So my condition is probability of, find the probability of sum is 4, probability of sum 4 given the numbers are different. Correct. So this is nothing but probability of some intersection difference by probability of difference set. Some intersection difference, if you see what are the common elements, 1, 3 is there, yes. 2, 2 is there, no. 3, 1 is there, yes. There are two common elements, right? So the probability of some intersection difference will be 2 by 36, right? Two common elements by uh, uh, sample elements, say 36. Probability of difference, there are 30 elements, 30 by 36. So what you get is 1 by 50. So that is the probability of getting sum is equal to 4 given that the numbers are different. We can do the same thing using uh, this guy also, diagram. So you, you throw. So since the condition is different, right, so we have two options different numbers, same numbers, right? So same numbers we have six cases, different numbers we have all these cases, this, this, particular, this particular set we have, right? So we have 30, 30 elements and this guy has six elements. Out of these 30 elements, if you see the sum is four, you want to see how many has sum four? No, yes, it has sum four, no, no, no all are no. If you see that only 2 has some. So from 30 elements you are taking out 2, right? So the probability of sum 4, given the condition difference because I am taking this as base now, will be 2 by 30 because this guy has 30 elements and out of that my favorite element is only 2 because there are only 2 numbers for which the sum is 4. So what I get is 1 by 4. So you get the same answer using both approach. The question says in an experiment of throwing a die, if the number that comes as a multiple of 3, the die is thrown again. If any other number comes, we toss a coin. You define the conditional probability of coin shows a tail given at least one die shows 3. I have this die, I throw this, right? 
I get multiple of 3 that is 3 and 6 and I get non multiple of 3 that is 1, 2, 4, 5. Right? So in in first two case I throw a die again. In this case I toss the coin. Correct? That's what the question says. Now I have to find the probability of events where the coin shows a tail that means this guy right so it may get tail or head so I have to get this probability of coin is equal to tail given at least one die shows three at least one die shows three where die is equal to three. See, if you notice this carefully, if you want to get a tail or a head, you have to be in this option. That means the die should have one, two, and four or five. Right? If die is one, two, four, and five, this condition is not satisfied. See, if, if at least one, if you assume that this is happening, right? to get tail, that means this should have happened. If this had happened, that means that the first throw was 1, 2 or 4 or 5. That means in that case, this is my whole scenario. I never got a die where I got 3. That means I'll get 0 as a probability. Correct? Logically, I'm telling you because if die is, if I'm getting tail, that means the die is not 3. Both the conditions are not matching. So I'll get 0 as the probability. Correct. So if you want, we can do that. So coin is equal to tail. Let's suppose this uh, set is CT. So coin is equal to tail. You can get is one tail, two tail, three tail, four tail. Sorry. You can get one tail. You can get two tail. You can get four and tail. You can get five and tail. Correct. One tail, two tail, four tail, five tail. This is the only possible option. The other is at least one. 3, right? So, I'll say 3 die. This set will have at least 1 3. So, you can have uh, uh, 3 6 here. Sorry, 3 here. If you get 3 here, then the next you can get 1. In the next you can get 2, 3 3, 3 4, 3 5, 3 6. So this is the set where at least 1 3 you get. Correct. Now we have to find the probability of coin tail at least given it is a 3D. That is nothing but probability of CT intersection 3D by probability of 3D. Let's find what is the intersection of these. If you see that there is no common element between these and these, right? So that means this becomes 0 and this has some value, right? I don't want to find the value because even if it has some value, this becomes 0. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.